literally spent. Which wasn't cheap, mind you. Hey team, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Hayden. I am a group exercise instructor. I teach multiple classes. If you wanna know which ones, you'll find it in my about section on my YouTube. I post twice a week. I post reviews on Mondays. The products that I review can range anywhere from vegan food. I do a lot of that. Fitness apps, clothing, skincare, and even some like funny stuff, like wish holes and all of that. Fridays, I do a day in the life compiled over a week. It is another Friday, which means I'm taking you through a day in the life of what it's like for a fitness instructor. Before we get into this, make sure you have subscribed and rung the notification bell. Let's wrap up our week. It is a Monday morning. It's currently 5 a.m. I've obviously just got ready. Uh, I'm about to head to work to get the week started. What an eventful weekend or Friday Yes, yeah, starting Friday last week to this point today. My mum had to put her dog down after 14 years because she had tumours and she just wasn't, she was really unwell. My dad and is in hospital. It's kind of surreal. He, uh, to, obviously you don't know what's happening, but he's um, lived a life of Heavy smoking, heavy drinking, really bad food choices and just lifestyle in general, which means uh, it's taken a toll on his body and on his arteries. His arteries are completely blocked. Uh, there's literally maybe 4% that's clear that the blood's getting, uh, the blood's trying to get through, which means that there's not enough oxygenated blood going to his brain, which is super dangerous. So there's nothing they can do. Uh, there's no surgery. He's on drugs, um, blood, th blood thinners and anticoagulants to, well, to preserve what he has left. So I spent the weekend actually not doing much at all. Uh, reflecting, thinking about things um, on the phone to my family in Perth kind of reminiscing and all that stuff and obviously on the phone to my dad as well I've reconnected with him and it's so cliche but it does put things into perspective about what's actually important in life we carry on about money and bills and all of that and it's actually really not that important yeah you need it to survive and get ahead but it won't make you happy little update on that Meridian pen that I purchased which is right here this thing even though I've got the instruction manual, I still don't understand how to work it out. And look, to be honest, I didn't pay that much for it. It was under $5. Uh, I just wanted to see if it was a gimmicky kind of thing that actually worked. Well, it's more than chances now. It's, it definitely doesn't work. I'm going to test a little something out right now. I've got this external microphone that I wanted to, which wasn't cheap, mind you. I got it from JB Hi-Fi. This is what it looks like. You plug it into the side of the camera. I had it plugged into my old camera and if you don't remember what it, that old camera was, I will insert footage of it around here or link the associated video down below. And I couldn't quite determine if it was just the audio quality in the previous one was just because the camera was legit crap or it was this doing it. I didn't have anything to compare it against. I haven't actually used it with this camera before, so let's just see. I'm trying to see where it plugs in. And I found it. FYI, if all of a sudden the sound becomes intense in your eardrums, want to claw your ears off, I apologize. The only drawback with this camera, even though it's an amazing camera, there is nowhere to mount the microphone. So I have to hold it or sit it on something. Let's hope the audio isn't rubbish. The first time I have tanned my legs since before Adam and I went to 
Thailand. <laughs> yes, it is bottle tan. I actually use Bondi. Um, it actually comes out quite nice. So here I am, right before my step class at the Glen Waverley site. Mind of my business, my class starts at 9.15. It gets to nine o'clock. I'm like, oh, okay, so the Pilates class before me is still running. That's cool. They may have started a little late. It gets to five past nine, ten past nine, and quarter, 16 past nine. She just wraps up. Oh. To say I was livid would be an understatement, but obviously I can't show that. What topped it off was when I actually got into the room and I let her know, hey, just you know, FYI, your class is supposed to finish at nine. The attitude, it was like, well, you should have come into the room and told me. You can't help but smile passive aggressively, like, hmm. But in your mind, there's all sorts of profanity streaming out your mouth. It has just not been my day today. My last class of the day was Body Step. It's a Wednesday. I, after the fiasco this morning, I got in there, I, I was already kind of edgy all day, kind of, I hate to say narky, but yeah, kind of narky all day. Anyway, I got into my body step class uh, tonight at the Clayton Centre, started off all great, participants were full of energy, they were really into it, they were very interactive, finished early, I finished with at least three minutes to spare, even threw in a cool down, that's not usually, um, or not at all, the new format of body step doesn't have a cool down, the 45 minute format. The next class comes in, three minutes to spare mind you and I overhear this woman saying to the instructor they need to just finish early so we can get in and set up look it's, it's already it's almost quarter past already why can't they finish 10 minutes early if only I actually divulged the information that was the little tirade that was going through my head because at this point in time my fuse was spent literally spent so I ended up saying to her, I'm so sorry that you feel that way. However, why should I cut my class short and my participants suffer? Why can't you cut yours short? I know I shouldn't have said anything, but... Thanks for watching team. Make sure you've done all the fun stuff. You subscribe, notified, you smash the like, you leave me a comment. But most importantly, you keep on watching.